This video demonstrates how to create and use a hierarchically structured table in CODAP using the mammals example data set. Notice that each mammal in this table has a diet attribute. Let's start by dragging the attribute diet to the left to create a parent level collection. Now we see diet is separated out to the left and there are only three rows for diet with each unique diet listed only once. If I click on plants to select it, you can see that plants is selected not only on the left side of the table, but there are also seven cases or rows selected on the right side of the table, corresponding to the seven mammals that eat a plant diet. I can do the same thing for meat. And now I see below the plant-eating mammals, the 11 cases corresponding to the mammals that eat meat. One useful thing you can do with a hierarchically structured table is collapse the rows or cases you are not interested in looking at. So say I want to only examine the rows for the meat-eating mammals. On the left side of the table, I can click the minus sign to the right of both and the minus sign to the right of plants to collapse these rows. Now, on the right side of the table, we only see the meat-eating mammals. And instead of showing all the rows of the mammals that eat plants, it just says seven mammals on the right side. And instead of showing all the rows of the mammals that eat both meat and plants, it just says nine mammals. If I want to show the plants and both mammals again, I simply have to click on what are now plus signs to the right of plants and both. Note also that I can collapse or show all cases on the right hand side of the table by clicking this minus or plus sign in the header for the table. So now they are all collapsed, and now they are back. Another thing one can do is have a hierarchically structured table with more than one attribute in the parent level. Say I drag the habitat attribute into the parent level. So note, if I were to drop habitat here or here, I would actually create a new level to the hierarchy, but what I want to do is add habitat to the existing top or parent level, so I need to drop it close uh, to the left of diet. Now you can see CODAP has created a parent level with the five distinct habitat and diet combinations. And I can click on one of these combinations on the left-hand side of the table. Let's say mammals that live on land and eat plants to see how many there are in this category and what specific mammals they are on the right side of the table. Now you can also have more than two levels of a hierarchically structured table. For example, if I drag diet out to the left, out of the current top level, I can create a new top level. Creating additional levels of hierarchy adds complexity to the table, but could make some things more apparent. For instance, as I will click on each diet type, it will become easier to see that the mammals in this data set that eat plants all live on land, that the mammals that eat meat live on land, water, or both land and water, and the mammals that eat both meat and plants live only on land, at least for the mammals in this data set. Okay, so now I'll drag habitat back to the right side of the table to have just two levels again, so that I can show you one more thing that nested or hierarchically structured tables are useful for. So say I am interested in doing some summary calculations around diet. Since I have diet in the parent level, 
it is easy to do these calculations by adding a new attribute and using a formula. So if I want to count the number of mammals for each diet type, I can add a new attribute, which I will call count, and then I'll edit the formula for this attribute to calculate the count of the mammals for each diet type. Hit apply, and now I see the seven plant, 11 meat eaters, and nine omnivores. I could also do other calculations for mammals of a given diet type. Let's say the median lifespan. So I'll add a new attribute for median lifespan. And I'll edit the formula to calculate the median lifespan. And hit apply. And huh, isn't that interesting? Plant eaters have a longer median lifespan than meat eaters and omnivores in this data set. Some calculations you might want to try with hierarchically structured tables are median, mean, minimum, and maximum. And note also that these new parent level calculated attributes can be used in creating graphs. For instance, if I want to make a graph of the median lifespan by diet type, which I will do now. Thanks for watching.